Newborn sea turtles swim about 25 miles in 30 hours on average, and their mothers are faster than both them and their fathers to protect the family from predators. But how fast are turtles really? In the water, they're really quite quick. The average turtle swims at a rate between 10 and 12 miles per hour, and a frightened Pacific leatherback claimed the prize for the fastest reptile by swimming at a breakneck pace of 22 miles per hour, which is only 5.4 miles per hour behind the human land record. Turtles move considerably slower on land, but they are faster than you may think. The average turtle walks between 3 and 4 miles per hour, and soft-shell turtles have been known to keep up with humans for a few feet. The highway is one of mankind's symbols for long-distance travel, and John Steinbeck knows that turtles can't travel across the country like the Jodes. Scientists studied a migrant bog turtle, and they noted that it took an entire day to travel 56 feet. It eventually crossed a 600-foot wide meadow in two weeks. Enticed by a female, a male giant tortoise can book it at a little under a quarter of a mile an hour, at 0.11 meters per second. But how fast can other shelled crawlers move when they are enticed, or even provoked? A large alligator snapping turtle can weigh over 220 pounds and strike at 174 miles per hour keeping up to par with the average NASCAR race. In other words, that snapping turtle will have the same kinetic energy during its strike as five average weighted cheetahs running at full speed or an average weight car traveling at 45 miles per hour. You may believe that a snapping turtle strike is the fastest that a turtle can move. But that's only partially true because they have been moved much faster. The USSR sent turtles on a trip around the moon in 1968, and manned shuttles have traveled up to 24,790 miles per hour, which is 32 times the speed of sound relative to the Earth. However, there was a failure with the reentry guidance system which resulted in the turtles accelerating towards their death at 20 Gs. Apart from those which fell from space, turtles are very slow dyers, and are the oldest living reptiles sharing their origins with the earliest dinosaurs 200 to 300 million years ago. Now, Nemo may have been impressed that sea turtles can live to be 150, but wait until I tell you about Edueta. That giant tortoise lived for 255 years, from 1750 to 2006, making him the oldest vertebrate to ever live. The oldest creature to ever live, by the way, was Ming the shellfish. He lived to be 507 years old and ironically died when scientists tried to check his age in 2013. Ming was born three years after the Mona Lisa. But why are turtles such slow dyers? One explanation is that life expectancy is correlated with metabolic rate. Metabolism is correlated with heartbeats per minute. As a result, animals with low beats per minute tend to live longer than those with fast hearts. A hummingbird's heart beats at a rate of about 1,260 BPM. That's 21 beats every second. A human's heart sits at around 72 BPM, and turtles all the way down to 10. Turtles' hearts beat so slowly because they are cold-blooded reptiles. As a result of their cold blood, a turtle's body is only as warm as its environment. Cold body cells have a slower metabolism and require less oxygen. Therefore, the heart beats slower. The only animals with slower heart rates than turtles are the largest of whales, whose hearts only beat every 10 seconds. Another reason why turtles live so long is because nature requires them to. The giant tortoise, for example, isn't sexually mature until the age of 40. If a tortoise's lifespan was 30 years, but they didn't reproduce until 40, do you think there'd be any tortoises today? It's important to remember that none of your ancestors died young. If they did, you would never have been born. The giant tortoise isn't like the rabbit with high reproduction in a short life, but they are related by the story of the tortoise and the hare. It's the fable that made the tortoise a definition of slow. But is the tortoise really that slow? I mean, it does carry its entire house on its back. How fast would you be with your home on your shoulders? The average male is 196 pounds and can sprint at 14 miles per hour. The average American home is 2,200 square feet, two stories, and 605,000 pounds with the foundation. If you equate the kinetic energy of the sprinting man with the man in his house, you'll find that he'd be moving at 0.11 meters per second. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned that a male giant tortoise moves at 0.11 meters per second. Hmm. But thank you for watching How Fast Are Turtles Really? And I hope you've had as much fun watching it as I did making it. In the last bit of the video, I compared the tortoise with humans. 
I really enjoy doing this, and I think I'll make a few videos along the same theme to discover what exactly makes humans different from animals. In the next video, we will ask the question, can all animals swim? And I hope to see you then.